Hey you guys, welcome back to Be More Light. I am back you guys with another word. I'm so happy to share this with you guys today. Um, the word is speaking and this is a good word um, for all of us. And so I did pray beforehand before coming on here. So I do have two passages of scriptures um, that I wanna share pertaining to this word. And of course, pray over this word, take this word back to the Lord and make sure that we are in alignment with God and what he's speaking over our lives, right? It's great to have accountability. It's great to have wise counsel, but it's even better to have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with the Lord, that you hear God for you, that you are hearing and just sharing and partaking what God has placed in your spirit, right? So that you can know your direction and what God is saying, what he's speaking over your life during this time for other reasons that, you know, we can go into Matthew 6, seek first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. So the word that God put in my spirit to share with you guys was have faith step out in faith don't be scared don't be alarmed don't look at the outer layer picture look at what god has already spoken over you and in due time god will make a way so whatever that looks like to you in your personal life in your personal walk with the lord if god is having you to step out in faith know that he's got your back. Know that he's already laid out the foundation in front of you, before you, and he's going to continue to do so. Um, before I get started, I did want to update everybody. So I know some people have been writing me and um, just sending encouraging words to me, which I appreciate. And I love that so much. Um, I'm in such a better place, you guys. I am in an Airbnb, um, which is so, it's, it's so nice to have stability. <laughs> I'm trying to get my words together. Um, it's a it's an apartment. It's an apartment, and it's just so nice having the stability. I don't know how much longer I'm gonna have it for, but every day I'm trusting the Lord. He's been taking care of me. So I just wanted to update you guys because I know like every time I talk to you guys, I'm either in the car. But I've been praying for stability, and I've been praying for something of my own, even though this isn't my own place it's shelter and it is um covering for me during this time me and Bo. <laughs> so um yeah again you guys if you're in my position trust god um he makes a way and so i'm just grateful to have the stability um and yeah and so i'm just grateful for all the supporters that helped me get here because this is like I said, I don't ask for anything, but God will place it in people's hearts to help. And this is just where I'm at. So I'm grateful. I'll be here for another few days. And then I'm just trusting the Lord. I'm on this journey with God. I'm like, okay, God, what's next? Where are we going? So, um, but yeah, so this is me stepping out in faith and we could talk about risk, but with God, we don't take risk with God. That's, that's a worldly thing, you know, take risk and get out there. But with God, it's all faith. And that leads me to Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. The NIV version says, Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. So let me read it again. Faith is confidence in what we're hoping for. Having confidence in what you're hoping for in the Lord, even though you can't see it, but you have this hope and confidence that God's going to make a way. And when God does it, he does it better than our own ways. And that is faith in action. It even says it here, faith in action. Now, if we go over to Matthew 17, verse 20, the um, English Standard Version says, He said to them, because of your little faith, for truly I say to you, if you have little faith like a grain, again, it's so small, of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. So we get to actually stand in this truth, stand in this knowledge, stand in this promise of God, that if God's given us the authority to speak in faith, the same power that raised Christ back to life, the same power that, you know, overpower death hell and the grave you guys that dwells within us 
we have that power living inside of us. And what it takes is faith. He says, if you have faith like a grain of a mustard seed, meaning if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, this version says grain. Do you know what a grain is? It's almost like a crumb, a grain, a small grain, a spectacle, a piece, a small article of a mustard seed. And if you don't know what a mustard seed is, go Google it. it it'll shock you. It's the smallest of seeds, but it creates a tree, a big wholesome, life-filling tree. And that is what God has spoken over us. So if you have been in a place where you are needing your faith to move forward, if you're needing an increase in your faith, we can ask God, God, I need you to increase my faith. And God will also come in a way that you least expect, but is to increase your faith. I want to go back to my testimony of when I was sleeping in my car. And I share this out of pure testimony you guys i had faith and even though there might have been some doubts in my own understanding that i had to give unto the lord but in my faith with god and to god i kept trusting god and only god makes a way only god opens a door that a man that no man can shut god shuts doors that no man can open only god can do that and when we see that favor and when we see the hand of God in our life through our faith remember God says he is the perfecter of our faith so who do we go to to plug our faith in for an increase we go to the perfecter to the maker the creator that gives us faith and when we put our trust and our faith in God and over what he's spoken and what he has said and what he's promised God makes a way and God will show up, right? He's not just a God that speaks, but he moves. We can go back here. You will say to this mountain, move from here to there. He's not just a God that speaks, but moves. And I, I've been learning this every day on my walk that I need to open my mouth and ask. Ask God for what I need because the enemy will try to come in and get you to be silent. If the enemy can come in and try to get you to be silent and not open your mouth and use the words and the authority God has spoken over you, then he tries to put a battle in your mind against yourself. See, the enemy can't touch us, so he uses us as a victim towards ourselves. So when we get out of that, fig, that imagination, right? When we get out of that imagination, the battlefield in our minds and our thoughts, and we trust God and we go to his word and we put on his word and we put on the armor of God. We are walking in faith. This is faith in action. You're probably saying, how do I, I, I walk my faith out? Because faith without works is dead. To walk your faith out, it is to be obedient to God's word and his voice and what he is saying. And oftentimes that may look a little different than what you expected, but it's always better than you planned, right? God says, um, what's the scripture? It's in Proverbs. I, I just forgot about it. <laughs> um, many are the plans in a man's heart, but it is the purpose of God that prevails. So no matter what plans we think we, we may have of our own, they're not ours. See, our plans, our provision, our future, our vision is in the Lord. So when we have the faith to say, God, not my will, but yours. I want what you want for me. I want to step out of faith and be bold and be a willing vessel. I want to speak boldly. I want to have courage. I want to live by your power, love, and sound mind and get me away and out of this fear. Remove this fear from me that does not exist that's when we start to increase in our faith. We start to see God and we start to hear God and we start to walk with God. And that is what sets us apart. And so if you're in a place where you're just, you're asking God, increase my faith. I want to step out in faith and do this. Make me bold. Give me wisdom. Give me knowledge. Give me your wisdom. Give me your knowledge. God will begin to do that as you yield and surrender and lean not unto your own understanding. So I shared this with you guys because if you're in a place of making a decision that's in total faith, total faith, see faith comes with peace of God. He is the Prince of Peace. And so anytime you're stepping out in faith, God backs you up and you can ask him to show you the way because he will. God would much rather protect us 
than ever to have us be led astray. And God would never lead us astray. He's not built that way. So we can ask the Lord in faith to show us the way, and he will. And he will not only will show us the way, but he will make a way. So I pray this word blesses you guys, and I will talk to you guys soon. God bless you.